So sometimes I'm proud of the people who watch my channel, and then there's some other times when I'm just like, why exactly do I bother making videos? And you know what? This is one of those times. So today I'm going to show you one of the scripts that a guy in my Discord made, and... <laughs> I guess I can show you something cool you can do with Neofetch as well. So if you're new to the channel, you know what to do and let's jump right into it. So what exactly is the script this guy made? So it just uses a couple of very basic things like wget and html xml utils. So it's nothing too complicated, but let's just have a look at what it actually does. So the script itself is called waifu get and you might already be able to understand what waifu get does, but let's just run it. So if I just run it like this, so waifu get and then open up the image in SXIV, give it just a moment to download the image, and <laughs> I have no idea what it's going to download. Okay then, I have no idea who that is, let's run it a few more times. So what waifu get does is it'll download a random picture of a waifu. Why does this exist? Why exactly do I have people in my Discord like this? <laughs> Why did you make this? Okay, so this by itself, not too interesting. So what if we were to combine this with something else? So let's say you hate having friends and you want to combine that with Neofetch, for example. So if you don't know what Neofetch is, if we just run that, basically what it does is let you output your like distro logo and a bit of information about your computer. So a lot of people use this for doing things like screenshots and other things like that. I typically just leave it in my ZSHRC so it'll run every single time I open up a new terminal. But what if we combine that with waifu get? So if we run a little script that I made, I've just called it waifu fetch, because of course I have. So we run that, and there's a reason I used kitty instead of st, and that's because we can get much better images in kitty. I have no idea who this is, let's run it again. So. Obviously, this is going to take a really long time to run, and you really shouldn't use this, but I guess it's an excuse to show you how you can actually change the image that you can run in Neofetch. So if we look at the man page for Neofetch, I'll just go back into ST just because it's a bit more comfortable. So if we look at the man page for that, Neofetch, and we go down to images, so if we look in here, it's the next one, so image backend. So you can actually change the backend with this backend option here, but there's also shortcuts to use all of the backends that are available. So you've got an ASCII backend, Kaka, I'm not sure what that is, Chafer. I do know what that one is. I'm not a big fan of it. There's one for iTerm2, so I guess iTerm2 must have its own special way to do image previews, or not image previews, just image loads in the terminal. There's one for Kitty, one for PixTerm, one for Sixel, TermPix, TyCat, W3M, and you can just turn it off entirely. Okay, so let's try this out with a few different options. So if we've just run Neofetch, dash dash, say, uh, PixTerm. So in ST, obviously I'm not gonna be able to use the Kitty option, but we can use the PixTerm option. So with the waifu.png. Okay, so it loads it up like that. now. Obviously, that doesn't look anywhere near as good, but if you do want to load up an image in ST, then there's not really too many options to do it. It doesn't support um, Uber Krug, whatever that, whatever that one's called, but there's many other options you can use. I think Sixel is supported if you have, obviously, Sixel installed. I can't remember if I have it installed or not. No, I don't. So if you don't have a backend installed properly, then it's not going to actually load it up. I don't. Do I just not have it installed, or...? No, I do have it installed, but I guess it's not supported in ST. Let's try it in Kitty then. So yeah, that's not loading up in Kitty either. I guess those terminals don't support it, or for some reason I just don't have it installed properly. I'm not sure. But you can use PixTerm and Kitty as well, but the version I was running just before, I was running it with the Kitty option. So Kitty actually has a way to properly load up images within the terminal. So we run that with Kitty, and as we can see, we have much nicer looking images now. So if you do want to use the ASCII option though, the image actually does have to be formatted as an ASCII file. So you could probably save this image after converting it into an ASCII file and then do it like that. Or you can do it as the example shows right there. So using Fortune and Calsay. Now I don't actually have Fortune installed, but I can show you what Calsay looks like. So if you've never used Calsay before, it's just, it's kind of just a dumb little program, but let's just see what that actually does. So Calsay, let's just say, hello. So it just makes a cow say hello. Nothing too special there, but if you were to combine that with Fortune, Fortune is just a little program that'll basically just generate like a, a Fortune cookie level Fortune, and then you can pipe that into cow say, and you can have a cow saying the Fortune. Why would you do this? I don't know, 
But hey, it's an option. <laughs> so I did mention you have all these other backends as well. I don't have the programs installed for all of these. Obviously I don't have iTerm2 installed, so I can't test that one. I think, I, yeah, I should be able to do the W3M one. Now, I don't know what terminals besides your XVT actually support W3M, but if we go NeoFetch with the W3M option, we can see what that looks like in this terminal. So as we can see, that loads up an image pretty similar to the way that Kitty does it, but it's using the terminal web browser W3M to actually load the images. So obviously you could use any of these backends you wanna use, or you also have the option of just completely disabling it. So if you don't like having an image at all, you can just turn that off, but that's that's no fun at all. Why would you wanna do that when you can just load up a waifu image, or you could have a cow saying a fortune, or you could do, I don't know, whatever it is you wanna do. You could even have like a proper image of your distro logo if you wanted to, so you don't have to use an ASCII version. You could have a proper image of your Arch logo, or your Ubuntu logo, or your Gentoo logo. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. So while on the point of distro logos, if for whatever reason you're running Arch and you want to use a different distro's logo, for example, you can actually do that. So, if we go NeoFetch, and we go NeoFetch, we go dash dash ASCII underscore distro, then we could say we want, like, the... Ubuntu logo. So if we put in Ubuntu, that should bring up the Ubuntu logo. Don't know why you'd want to do that if you're on Arch, but it's an option. Or there's apparently an old version of the Arch logo. Okay, that's actually kind of sweet looking. I might have to run that because I can't... I don't know, does that look better than the new logo? I don't know how I feel about that. I have, I never used Arch back when... or I didn't even use Linux back when Arch was using this distro. And I guess Ubuntu has an old logo as well, so let's see what that one looks like. Ubuntu underscore old. That's not bad either. I don't know. Maybe the new Ubuntu logo looks a bit better than the, the old one, but they, they both look pretty sweet. Or you could use plenty of the other ones, like you could use Void, for example. Like, if you want to pretend like you're using Void Linux instead of using Arch Linux, you can do that. That's, that's cool, I guess. Once again, Ultimately, this doesn't really matter, but hey, if you're gonna already run NeoFetch, then you might as well just make it look exactly the way that you want your NeoFetch to look. So, if you really love Void Linux, and you just can't be bothered installing it because you're happy on your Ubuntu distro, then you can just do it like this, I guess. So, I am just waiting for all of the comments to say, this is absolute bloat, why would you even bother with this? I'm aware. This video is a joke. It started with me showing you a script to pull waifus from a website. I'm not taking this video seriously. I kind of just got this on my Discord and I was like, you know what? This is, this is really dumb and I felt like doing a video of it. On that note, the guy who made this script is also working on another script. So this one is called Waifu Says or Waifu Say. So similar to like Cow Say for example, but with waifus. So he's gonna have to generate like ASCII versions of various waifu because of course he is. But in the end, I say that I hate this, but ultimately I think this is just, it's a, <laughs> this is just the fun stuff that comes out of Linux. Now, obviously there's really useful stuff you can do, but there's no point taking yourself seriously all the time. Just have some fun with your distro. If you wanna do something like pretend like you're on Void Linux when you're on Arch, if you wanna replace your distro logo with a waifu, if you wanna, I don't know, just do any number of other really dumb things that you could do on your distro, go right ahead and do it. You don't have to take yourself so seriously all the time. Just enjoy your time using computer and just have some fun with it, I guess. So to end off this video where I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, I guess I should say, if you wanna come join the Discord, then there's always a link down below. So I think we're at roughly a bit over 90 people now, which is actually getting pretty big. So this video wasn't intentionally supposed to be a advertisement for my Discord. I don't know what this video was supposed to be, but I might as well just advertise the Discord anyway. So yeah, if you wanna come join the Discord, everyone is welcome. There's one guy who, You'll get used to him pretty quickly. He has the role of CEO of Gen2. You'll get used to him. But everyone else there is really, really nice and you'll probably have a lot of fun. So come join the Discord, come hang out. And every couple of weeks, I'm not really sure on the time or the date yet, I'm going to be doing a special episode of my podcast where I'm just going to bring in everyone who's currently in the voice chat on Discord and we're just going to record an episode like that. So 
that's just in case I ever have a guest that drops out, like I'm going to have for episode 3, which won't actually be out next week, last week, whenever this video goes up. Episode 3 ended up getting delayed, so that's not going to come out when it's supposed to come out, so just in case that ever happens again, I want to make it so I can just do special episodes in my Discord, and also, that just sounds kind of fun. I kind of just want to chat with new people, not just people who are my friends, but also just People who, I don't know, might be interesting or might have some random thing to say or might have some awful script they want to show me. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video. So if you like this video, I don't know why you did. This was the most rambly video I have ever made and it was the most off the cuff thing I've ever made. But if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, I, once again, not really sure why you would, then remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in, so go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. I don't have any other videos like this, but I guess you can check something out on the channel. Down below, I've got all of my social links, so that's my Discord, my Telegram, all of that sort of stuff. So go check that out if you want to chat with me or you want to get video updates. Also down below, I've got my donate links, so my Patreon and various other donate links. So if you want to support the channel, then feel free to go there. Any help will be really appreciated, but as always, if you don't want to support the channel, then you don't have to. And lastly, I've got my alternate video platform, so that's my BitTube and my library. So feel free to check those out if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for the worst video I've ever made, so I'm out.